Welcome to my dungeon. This poem is called Tongues. The church people speak in tongues while I speak in poems. O oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, we sang in unison the morning after the towers went down. Held hands so tight, our knuckles turned white, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But Mother Earth never bruised us so deeply, never made us so sad all at once. And the minister says, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. I didn't understand what it meant to forgive barely understood what it meant to live and 20 years later I found the words I wrote in my young diary why would God hurt us so badly lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil a man on the local news channel said evil lives in the hearts of men overseas told us not to believe politicians said to hug our loved ones and honor the dead I didn't know it then but when the men told us to pray they didn't know what else to say for thine is the kingdom. The minister held his hands to the sky while women in big skirts held their babies and cried, listened to the wind as it ached in the trees while the church people moaned. I wrote a poem in the margins of my hymnal, offered apology to a make-believe entity for not knowing what to say. For thine is the kingdom, for thine is the power, for thine is the glory, all for you, forever and ever and ever and ever. I never prayed so hard or so fruitlessly, asking God why he was angry, never clung so tightly to the story of an afterlife. That night, I went home and buried my hymnal in the thick black dirt outside my bedroom window, looked up and doubted the sky. Why is the darkness so quiet? Why can't I understand tongues? Why can't I trust anyone, especially the men in long robes with crosses at their necks and myrrh in their clothes who told me it would be okay? The pain would go away if we prayed, if we prayed. The men who kissed the top of my child head as I cringed. Amen.